the first series, my character is in a, uh, finds himself in Australia after a long chase with me in a car and someone else in a truck. I get hit off the road, have an accident, wake up, no memory of who I am. And uh, a couple of people help me piece together and try to find answers of who I am, which essentially leads me to some very dark places. I play Helen Chambers. In season one, she was a probationary constable. In season two, she has left Australia and gone to Ireland with her boyfriend to try and figure out a little bit more of who he is. The first one was always supposed to be a love story and this is sort of continuing in that vein. You know, you leave him at the end of series one learning about just how dark this character is. And then so as you enter series two, the audience are going to want to know actually what makes this guy tick and is he as bad as you think he might be? The second series brings me back to Ireland to try to discover my real family and get some answers on who I am and why I've been caught up in all this kind of craziness of people trying to kill me. And I think the main question too in the development of series two is, is this who he really is and can he change? Is the past really past? So the first series of The Tourist, it's got huge cinematic ambition. It also has a really brilliant sense of humour. We didn't particularly want to do a second season because we sort of thought we had the ending to this show and we are like, wouldn't that be a great note to leave it on? It was only when we asked ourselves the question, you know, what does a second series look like? I had no idea what to expect for season two. I love working with Jamie, love the writers, so I was in straight away. I think the ambition going into series two was to delve deeper into Elliot's character and find out more about what makes him tick. He's the guy who's trying to move on and, you know, enjoy his life for the, n the new version of him. But he is about to find across the series that you can't leave things behind that easily. And more importantly, can Helen forget his past and accept this new version of him? We begin the second series with Elliot and Helen and the two of them together. And their love and their trust and their support of each other is very crucial to the journey that they go on in the second series. I don't know you. I don't know who you really are. The colour palette of Australia is, you know, gives series one its really unique kind of look. And then I think series two is all about celebrating just how beautiful Ireland is. Strangely enough, there are parts of Ireland that kind of remind me of where I grew up. It's very green and it's right by the water. And so that all kind of makes me feel really at home in a really nice way. Yeah, I don't know, it's just a good energy. It's a good vibe here. I feel like the outback and the sort of the color of the outback and the scope and scale of it and fear of the outback was a major character in the first series. We felt confident that we shouldn't try to make it look too much like the world of the tourist one because it is such a different environment. Visually in terms of how the landscape is used, how that informs the mood and tone of the show. So all of that grammar was established and I wanted to carry that over and then play to what was strong about Ireland. He's gone out. Uh, who? In and out he goes, like a cat he is. So busy. I don't like to be busy. It's not for me. Right. From the very start, high octane, crazy action that the show is already famous for, packed with mystery, the most amazing cast of quirky characters, all of whom are really complex. And it's also very funny. It's peppered through with the most dark and sort of quite twisted comedy. It's tonally the same show they enjoyed in season one. The story does continue, but it's also its own new and unique journey. It delivers on all of the same things that the first season did, hopefully. Trying to continue the tone of series one into series two presented a unique challenge as we were moving the show from Australia to Ireland. It was a road movie of sorts, so you're traveling over a lot of different areas. Shoot things very cinematically and get some big sort of wide landscapes and, you know, personal characters within them. I think series two is all about celebrating just how beautiful Ireland is. I can't really think of any other show on TV that looks like it. And when I think about season one of The Tourist, I see colours and I see yellow and I see red and then accent colours like ochres and rust. We thought those accent colours would transfer very beautifully to the cooler landscape of Ireland. We have a different temperature, if you like, to the show. And in a way that works with 
the tone of season two, which is particularly thrillerish. There are two different worlds that we're painting. It's Frank's world and it's Neve's world, and those two worlds are very different. The beauty of the rural side, but the these are kind of violent elements of certain parts of the inner city. The sets complement the look and the feel of the tourist by design, and that's how we sort of have world building and how we make sure that the whole thing is cohesive. There is a familiarity to the balance of a frame, the balance of how the pictures look. But season two is distinctive and it embraces Ireland and it embraces cool. Shall we talk about the stunts in the series? What about stunts? What about them? I think from series one there was an expectation set in terms of the physical scale of stunts. Coming into series two we knew we wanted to double down on what we'd done in series one. I think there's been fantastic planning put into this so that every time we turn up on set everybody is literally singing from the same hymn sheet. The easy part is designing big stunts to where there's just stunt people in it, crashing a car or blowing something up. When you're dealing with cast or crew, we have to design the stunt that they can perform that safely. Sometimes the simple little stunts can actually be more challenging. We've got a car chase. We were throwing cars off cliffs. From all the action in this, that's one we've always been looking forward to. There's going to be like a driver like on top of the car who's actually driving the car that I'm in. <laughs> so the car is going to be legitimately driving through traffic. I've never been more sort of intrigued by a stunt before as I am with that. There's quite a lot of tricky sort of elements within that as well. With stunts and with our physical sequences, we aim to go even higher because you want the audiences to come back and you want them to be coming back for more. There's a lot of trust in filmmaking. I mean, the stunt team have been amazing on this. They really have. They've been class and I, I think I'm going to be fine.